Why bother with core stability training? Well, because it can help you ride faster and avoid injury. So here are six exercises to get you started in core stability training. Now, I know what you're thinking. You don't have time. And I do understand, because cycling is already a very time-consuming sport. And if you also have a job, a family, a social life, why add extra training? Well, just a tiny bit of time every week invested in core stability training can make a big difference on the bike. And to be honest, once you've fallen off an exercise ball like this, just riding a bike feels quite easy. And I think these kinds of exercises are especially useful if you're planning a long sporty this summer that involves long climbs. The only equipment you need is a Swiss ball. So the first exercise is pretty simple and it looks really easy. You'll be familiar with this if you ever go to a yoga class. Basically, you're gonna line your back with your feet about two hand lengths in front of your bum and you're gonna tilt your pelvis so that the small of your back is against the floor. And then you're gonna roll your spine away from the floor, vertebra by vertebra, until your body's in a straight line from your shoulder blades to your knees. Really slowly and controlled. And then roll it back down. And it's very simple, but doing this exercise slowly and with control is actually surprisingly difficult. So if you're a total beginner at this type of training, I would start with trying to do this five times. And remember that doing it fewer times and right is more important than trying to do it many, many times and getting the exercise wrong. And I would emphasize here that doing it with control is much harder than rushing it. The next exercise is called the Superman pose. You might've seen it before. So it's pretty simple. Get on your knees and your hands with your hands directly below your shoulders. Tense your lower abdominals, like you did in the previous exercise, and raise the opposite arm and leg until they're horizontal, slowly. Hold like that for 10 seconds, and then lower them slowly. Repeat on the other side. Now, I think you should start out doing five efforts like this. When that gets easy, you can increase it to 10. And the more advanced version of this exercise involves bouncing your arm and leg. So once you're in position, you raise them slightly like this. And to raise your leg, you should be tensing your glute, your bum muscle. And to raise your arm, you should feel the tension in your shoulder blades. So when the basic Superman pose gets too easy, you can increase it to 30 seconds on each side, bouncing like this. Third exercise is called the boat pose. Again, you might know this from yoga. Start off as in the first exercise with your feet in front of your bum, lying on your back, and then gently and slowly and with control, raise your feet off the ground and bring your hands forward alongside your legs. And hold that, if you can, for 20 seconds to start with. As it gets easier, you can try holding it for longer. When it gets really easy, you can try extending your legs and raising and lowering them very slowly. Now the whole time, only the small of your back should be on the ground. So you're not lying on your back like this. You're basically balancing on the very bottom of your back. Exercise number four is a very simple plank. Now, you want to hold yourself nice and stable with your hands directly underneath your elbows and try and keep your body in a straight line from your heels to your shoulders. Keep your shoulders back and away from your ears and feel the tension between your shoulder blades, which is where you should be holding your back and keep your tummy tucked under. So not sagging like this and not arching like this, but a nice straight line with your lower stomach muscles tense. When that feels nice and easy, try it with bent arms like this. And if you can hold that for 30 seconds, you're doing pretty well. <laughs> when you can hold the basic plank for two minutes and it feels pretty easy, you can try a more advanced version using an exercise ball like this with your feet on the exercise ball. That will make it a lot harder, especially if you bend your arms and try to hold that for a minute. That's definitely quite tricky. Ah. 
The next exercise is a side plank. Basically, it is what it sounds like. You're gonna be on one elbow, both feet, and if you're having trouble balancing to start with, use the other hand to stabilize you. And the important thing here is to keep your body, again, in a straight line from heels to shoulder, but also not to sag sideways like this. You can keep your body as though your back were pressed up against a wall. Now, when you can hold that for 30 seconds, try raising one foot slightly and holding it like that for 30 seconds. It makes it a lot harder. And when that feels easy, try doing this for 30 seconds. The most advanced version of this one, again, involves bouncing your leg. I try and do 10 bounces after holding the side plank for 30 seconds. Obviously, you want to do both sides for this side plank, and it's quite useful to use a timer to check that you've got the same time left and right. The final and hardest exercise is hamstring curls on the Swiss ball. So you want to raise yourself up with your heels on the Swiss ball, shoulders on the ground, in a nice straight line if you can, from heels to shoulders, and then curl the ball towards you whilst keeping the straight line as best you can from knees to shoulders. So your whole body will pivot upwards from the shoulders. And the slower you do this, the harder it is. So you want to go from full leg extension to roughly a right angle at your knee. And I'll try and start with five curls, building up to 10 and then 15. Right, so the advanced version is with just one leg. This is where it gets tricky because you've got to balance and use a core strength. So wish me luck. Right, here we go. So heels to shoulders, straight line. One leg in the air, roll up with the other leg. Nice and slowly and controlled. I can just about do 10 on each leg. Ouch. This set of exercises should only take you 15 to 20 minutes and you'll start to see the benefits if you just do them twice a week for a few weeks. Word of caution though, if you're a beginner at this kind of training, it'll feel quite tricky. So start with the easy version and build up to the harder version. Try to avoid doing this kind of exercise on a full stomach, you'll feel sick, and definitely don't have a beer beforehand because it's hard enough to bounce on the ball as it is. Anyway, I hope this helps you with your training. If you'd like to see some more tips on how to train for sportives, why not click down here to see our series on training for the Maratona Dolomiti.